To view the pre-registrants for your race, you can just go to view registered paddlers. You'll see that there's 28 people. You'll see the list of people um, that have signed up right here. In case somebody wants to edit the registration, um, for instance, uh, here's mine down here. If I want to make an edit, you can see I'm in the five mile race. My racer number is seven. Um, I'm men's, this is my age group and my craft type. If I want to edit any of these things, or if I want to add an entry, I can do that by cl clicking this edit button. For instance, let's say I want to change my five mile craft to a kayak. And then if I wanted to enter one of the other ones, I could do so like this. Once you've made all the edits for the individual, just hit submit. That'll take you right back here. And you'll see if you scroll down to where I am, that I'm now in a kayak. You can also search for anybody at any time by just typing their name in. The other way you can look at uh, who's registered so far and who's in the system is by going to view entries by event. And this is just another view on the same data. Each of these is one boat. Whereas over here, each of these is one person. That's the difference. Um, the other thing you can do at this point is go to export registrations. What that will do is it'll save an Excel spreadsheet to your computer that you can print out uh, and have as a hard copy for the race to check people in. It's really important when you check people in that you use this registration uh, uh, spreadsheet that you print out and give them their racer number. So make sure people know what their racer number is. It'll be shown on this spreadsheet. Um, in case you can't print that for some reason, you can also just, as long as you have access to this, you can look up anybody's racer number at any time. For those people that show up on racing and have not yet pre-registered, the way to get them into the system is by going to Actions, Register a Paddler. So let's say um, uh, my co-founder Tim shows up to your race on race day not having pre-registered. You would direct him to this form and you would type in his name here. He's already a Paddle Guru member, which means all his data is already in. If someone is not a Paddle Guru member, they just hit no and they fill out this form. If they are, they just type their name in here. Um, next, they add their entry. So let's say Tim's gonna be racing in the five miler. He puts in his information like this. He checks the waiver, hit submit. That's it, that's all he has to do to get in the system. It's really important that when he does that, you'll note this green message up here, success, you are number 28. So you have to tell Tim he's number 28. Also, if, um, if you ever get confused at any point, you can go back to view registered paddlers. Everybody who's registered either pre-registration or through this actions register paddler form will be listed on here. So for instance, like, let's look Tim up. There he is, he's number 28. So with that, um, you know, you have everybody in the system either through pre-registration or through this actions register paddler on race day. And now you are ready uh, to time your events.